I don't know how wide angle these cameras are, and if you can tell who's actually happy with both of us. I'm going to go back to the What is this thing that oh. we've got in the boot here? Well, that very well wrapped. Aupuru <laughs> Ahoa. Oh, yes. Aupuru Motuhake Motewahi Ne Hapu. Yes, Rawitina. So it's a pregnancy pillow. Yes, it's quite large. Yeah. And it's a present for you. I love it. Koito oh. Kona Pipi. Yes, because it's not just one baby we have in there, is it? No, the Tokorua. <laughs> <We've> got, <laughs> <laughs> in Mahanga, we've got two in there, which for me is a real blessing. And to be perfectly honest, though, when I first found out, <laughs> Hey, I know now it is a beautiful blessing and so yeah, yeah we're Good. very very happy. No matter who the way Mari and we're so lucky as your friends and your wider Fano and your Fano living Fano that you're willing to share this journey with us, right? So that people can look at what happens when yeah. you're hapu, how your life changes and just the processes that you go through. Yeah, and so I guess the first part of that is meeting my midwife. Ooh. So that, that's the first thing I think that we should do. Well, actually, I've got two. Okay. Yeah, just because when one's not available, then, you know, the other one is there, which is really cool. Oh. So why did you choose a midwife rather than an obstetrician? Well, there's lots of talk around obstetricians and midwives. Mm. And for me, I hadn't actually dis decided until I saw my midwife for the first time. She said, look, there's actually options available for you. You don't have to have an obstetrician. Um, that service is actually available for you uh, through the public system. And so I kind of thought, after having spent some time with my midwife, she's onto it, man. Mm. She knows what mm. she's doing, and if she has any problems, she's going to do something about it. So I felt really comfortable with her, and I think that's probably the biggest thing, is mm. that I felt comfortable with her. So we are off to the midwife. Yeah, because as a friend, you do want to help, but you don't necessarily know how to. Yeah. And it's the practical things in actual fact that I think are the most important. Yeah. yeah. Waiho kiau le horopuehu and you can leave me to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna. This is where it is. Kapai. I am here to support her, but I also want to see how she's doing. So how is Jenny May on her journey so far? You're going to give her a, a pass, Mark? I'm going to give her a good pass, Stacey. Jenny May's done very well. She's looked after herself. She's invested in her health and well-being, and that's going to pay huge dividends throughout coping with the pregnancy. So it's very important, um, but it's, you're off to a very good start. I'm a little worried about my... Well, I'm not worried, but it's just a little alarming when you see your weight. And I know I'm carrying two babies. I just weighed myself and I'm 80 kgs. And it's like, okay. I remember I was like 18 and I was 80 kgs. Because I yeah. ate so much oh, okay. and I just wasn't doing any exercise. And so now I'm 80, I just. Hey, hawking a mahara. So you remember that so, time. Ooh, yeah. At that time, you didn't have two babies. No, no, but so I get it. I mean, yeah. yeah. Because what, what do we say are expectations for putting on weight when you're pregnant? Well, we say about 7 to 10 kilos in a, in a pregnancy for a singleton, so probably just a little bit more than that for twins. So what is that? I'm over that. What you... So normally I would sit around 70. Right. Yeah. 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 And I'm only halfway. <laughs> but it's not progressive. It's not as if you're like every week you're more, 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 more. No, just, just distinguish the, make sure we distinguish between, you know, the thought about getting fat and actually growing some babies. And that's a big thing. You're not fat, you're pregnant and you're growing babies. Yeah. Look at the mirror and look at your face and see your face is still very nice and slim. Okay. And focus on that and let your babies grow. I think she's carrying beautifully. I think she's carrying beautifully yeah. too. And there's, there's placenta, there's liqua volume, there's blood volume, you increase your blood volume by a third in pregnancy. So all of that taken into consideration. Hang on, they call it a porno, but the truth is that you go, why is my bum? Yeah, everything else is growing. <laughs> you also lay down fat stores for breastfeeding. Yes. You will lay down a little bit more to breastfeed two babies. That's normal. Okay, cool. All right, so a little bit more for twins, just a little, a little bit more. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is, is that Lisa's actually had twins too, so it's, yeah. you know, it's awesome being able to speak to somebody who's been through that journey already. And you get big. Yeah. That's, yeah, and I get that. Yeah. It's just actually seeing it as a number. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah.